everyone, here is Kathy from Kathy Director and in this After Effects tutorial I want to show you how you can create a realistic gunshot muzzle flash like this. In this tutorial we go over and add a muzzle flash to it we animate a blowback on any toy gun, whatever you like. Um, then with the cell ejection and the lighting on the body. And another thing is um, I will add sound effects. That is what I want to go over in this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. So what we need is, first we need a clip of you playing around with a gun and sh try and simulate to shoot. My clip is here. And go and drag this clip on this little icon here. It will create a comp composition with the same size and frame rate like your original clip. Next go to Google and Google for Muzzle Flash SM. Uh, it should be our GIF or our PNG. Uh, I have, I don't know why, but I have problems to import our PNG. So um, I do and go and color key it out later. So it's not really so good. Um, another thing is go and search for uh, sound effects or what you like. I use Action Central Sound um, and um, then import another clip. It's Gun Shell. It's a, uh, a rotating shell like that. So, well, maybe I set it to download, maybe not. Um, if not, then go and Google it. So, but first go to your original clip and go for the position where you're shooting. So it should be here, there. Next go and duplicate this by hold on command and D or go to edit duplicate. Next, I go and rename my layers so I know what's going on. So here it's gun shoot, shot, shoot, no, gun, I don't know, gun shoot. Um, and the second is blowback. So, I know it's wrong, gun shot. <laughs> That's gun shot. So, with your blowback, now go and zoom in here in your timeline. So you have one frame. For sure you can go and look at your keyboard for page up and page down. So you can go one frame back and forth, whatever you like. So when you have that, go and double click into your blowback layer so you get that and then go and zoom in click on the mask tool on the on the pen tool and create a mask next go and go around the middle of the top of the gun like that here and yeah on, and leave some some line here in the middle Next go and click here on composition and go and click on your layer, hit P, hold on shift and hit R and that is. So hit the stopwatches because we want to record the, the position and the rotation. Now go page down for one frame forward and Go with your um, arrows to the left and right. So, well, oops, something like that. 
uh, maybe some more. So here you can see now. Oops. Okay. Good. So here you can see now the layer of the blowback. So stop, stop, stop. I made a mistake with the with the outline of the uh, max for the blowback. <laughs> Sorry. Double click again and drag the two mask. You don't need your whole cut in here. You need it on the background layer. So go and click here and drag it back there and that. So it looks like this. Um, Go to rotation and do whatever you like. I do minus one. So it looks like that. Looks good. So go page up and you see there's an animation. Looks like a blowback. Um, go and make sure you click on this icon here. It's motion blur. And on that. This is a very important too. If not, then the motion blur doesn't work. So now the last thing for the blowback. Go and go to blur. and drag the directional blur on the slide. Now go and position the angle like your slide is right now. So like that and play around with the percentage of the blowback. So maybe that. Oh, and click MM on the blowback layer to go and go to feather and feather it a bit out. So only a bit, maybe two or one pixel. And now when you go back and forth, you can see here is the animation for blowback. Now go to the second position of your background layer. Go and click on the clone stem tool double click on the layer oops and now go and paint the a bit of the top from from the uh, yeah from the front and a bit from the bottom away from the from the gun so go in somewhere on the wall and hold on alt and you'll get this sign and click somewhere and it copies the wall. Next go over that. So maybe make a bit um, the size of the gun a bit smaller. So brush and do it like that maybe. And go over here. So do it like that something. So when you have that, go back to your composition layer and you see it's a blowback. It looks like a bit like a normal gun. You see it here. And on the blowback go to the normal posi back to the normal position. So it's rotation zero and let's see the other one it's 360 and 640 and now we'll go adjust this go mo one more page down and go to edit and split the layer and delete the rest so you can see it goes back forth so now you can see we have the normal slide go in frame forward he goes back go down to your gunshot and now you should go and have select all your clone layers here so I'll drag it a bit up. 
and drag the end of the clone clips a bit so you get this. So it's now on the third position of the blowback. The end of the clone stems ends here. So now when you go here it's a normal position normal forward and you can see a blowback forward it's a normal gun. Yep that's and to have it on the first position no um, blur go click on your blur layer go to blur length um, here on the second position go to the first and click zero so when you see this now it goes a blowback and yeah that is the blowback part go to the first frame of your blowback layer and resize it to the first frame so Next go and drag your muzzle flash over the top of the gun. You get a picture like that here. And now go and make it a bit bigger. So click on the corner. Hold on um, hold on down and then go and hold on shift and now you can drag it. So the size will be the same. So do it like that. Hit R for rotation. And rotate it what you like. So do it like that. Position it like a gun. Oops. Go to the second position of your, so the blowback is back, and the gunshot, and go to edit and split the layer here. The front part you can delete and then one frame, and you can go edit and split. So you have one frame animation of your muscle flesh. So I will go and key this out very quick. So now when you have your muscle flesh there and go with the page up and page down you can see it's shooting. Yeah, that's it. Um, now go to yeah to the first frame like that here and now you can go and drag the smoke layer on it. Um, what I forgot to import. <laughs> now go and drag your smoke layer under the blowback. Something like that. Um, go and resize it. So hold on one of your corners like that. Hold on shift. And now you can drag it what you like. Next go and click here on toggle switch so you get the modes. The modes. Uh, go and set it on screen. You see now all this dust stuff here. Um, double click on the smoke layer. You get that and go and make some mask here. Oops. Make a mask around it. Something like that. Position it new. So. Go and hit P for position. Click on the stopwatch. Go forward. and go and drag it a bit back. So when you have now your smoke layer there and you can see go 
before you shoot, like here, go. He should start to smoke because yeah, the gun was fired. Now you can see he is coming smoke like that, and so maybe around here you should go and click your smoke layer and hit T for opacity and set it to zero and that go page down a uh, page up so maybe here and set it to 100 go to the frame where you fire so here starts the smoke so go and drag the beginning of your layer to this position and to end of that position go um, to the end of the smoke um, where the, the opacity ends go and hit enter edit split layer delete the rest so now you get this shoot and the smoke is coming out you can go and play around with the smoke I know it's not perfect right now um, maybe make it a bit bigger so what we have now is you go get a blowback on your gun you get a muzzle flash and you get the smoke looks good so far go back to your files and click the shell in the composition and drag it in position so, so here again go hold in the corner with the mouse and hold and shift and resize it so um, and drag it over your gun go and go to blending mode and set it to screen and now it's a bit transparent I don't know why this is but we will go and solve this problem later so let's see go here you fire should be go and eject the the shell so go forward 10 frames so page down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now you can go and split the layer go and delete the rest go to the beginning where you fire and the shell ejects click on your shell layer, hit P, shift, C and that's it uh, go to toggle switch to switch uh, back to the options here and make sure you go and click on the 3D layer click and click on position and scale go to the end of the clip and then go and play around with the position, with the Z position on the end here so looks like the shell is falling down you can see it here right now <laughs> it looks not really like a normal gun falling down so go to here and go make our curve something so something like a curve so let's see it makes a curve ejects the gun so here you can see the shell is falling down yeah and now when you have that go and duplicate this layer by hold on control and D or go to edit duplicate now we have two of the shells and what I do is set the, f the second to add. Now we have this shell, nobody recognizes it's fake, so well, maybe you do it. Um, so what we have so far is we have a gun, we have the muzzle flash, the blowback, and the shell is coming out, and there comes the smoke. So, yeah. 
awesome. You can play around. I think you can make it better than me. <laughs> so whatever. Um, now go and click on layer to create a new adjustment layer. Go and tip in the um, type in the effects and presets tint and drag it on the adjustment layer and choose uh, a orange color, uh, orange, yellow color, like whatever you like, maybe like that. Go and hit, go to the position where you have your muzzle flash, like that. Hit the um, pen tool and draw around where should be our light. So maybe like this. So maybe like that and go and make another mask on the face. So a bit around and on the arm. So and somewhere down here. So go open the mask, open all three masks and go and play around with the feather. So maybe like this. And the first mask on your hand, I make my opacity to 80. The second I do like 60. Um, yeah, and feather it out. And the third, um, maybe 62. So maybe 65. And play around here too. So, so that I know this and now we can go and make our circle behind the muzzle flash like here so don't need to be perfect <laughs> um, go um, make sure you go and go and drag it under the muzzle flash picture and go and open this mask Fitted out uh, good, so like this. Oops, no. And now go to the adjustment layer, hit T, and hit the opacity stopwatch. Go f two frames forward and go and select the stopwatch. Go to one hundred. Uh, to zero. Go to the first stopwatch and then go and. Hit edit, split layer, delete the first part. Now you should get a muzzle flash with yeah, lightning. Uh, you can play around with the lightning. Um, you need to do it. So maybe the first mask looks horrible. Um, so yeah, um, well maybe set the adjustment layer, hit T, not 200, set it to 50. I think that's that's way better. So, when you now go and look, play around with that. So, this is that. Now you can go and add your sound effects to it if you want. Um, and the last thing is go and color correct it. Go and click on new adjustment layer and hit your color correction on this layer. Make sure you have it under your muzzle flash. So it looks epic. Something like that. That was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and please thumbs up if you like this video. Um, tutorial requests are very welcome. So this is my um, effect. I hope you like it. Uh, 
yeah and please comment what do you think and i hope i'll see you next time bye